uh, we're gonna play Sonic CD. Not much else to that. Um, yeah. Cool stuff. Let's play. Oh yeah, I gotta freaking post this on the server. Oh crap, okay. Here we go. Put the game a little of it louder here. Oh crap. I'm just gonna play the freaking cutscenes first because he kind of skips those. Because I played at the start of the last stream. Because I just finished the game and then boom, more cutscenes. Why are the freaking times separate for classic mode, by the way? That's kind of weird. Okay, let's, let's play some movies real quick. Just to give me all a feel for games. Wholesomeness is happening now. That's it, we're introduced to Amy. Well, let's go. I actually like Sonic CD a lot, so this is gonna be fun. Okay, time for peak opening hours. Hi there, Silux. Uh, cool Caesar. I like that Pokemon a lot. Okay, um... Sonic CD opening. Let's go. Oh wait, crap. I... Give me a second here. I have to do something. Because I can't just pull up the lyrics on my PC. Because then you wouldn't hear, uh, hear the song. Hold up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sing this song. Hey. Here we go again. Nine, nine, don't fall behind. Eight, eight, stay don't be late. Seven, seven, destination heaven. Hit five, stay luck. Six, five, now you and me. Two, one, we're gonna have fun. Say, blast off. Hey, Excalibur, not that far. What do you make? Give it a Going home, time low. Check out a, he's never low. Leather and lace, get in place. What do you get, say, fast jet? Zoom room, cosmic zoom, hits up Jake, Sonic Boom! Two, two, Sonic Warrior, two, two, Sonic Warrior, you're our dear, and you've got the power to save the land. Two, two, step on three, gotta smile no matter what you do. Two, two, Sonic Warrior, two, two, Sonic Warrior, to save, stay in your mind to save the planet and conquer time. Hey there, man. Quality singing provided by me because that's how you gotta start your stream. I mean, if I just watched the opening, then there wouldn't be much to talk about, would there? Because, I mean, it's Sonic running and it's cool, but like, 
I mean, I gotta sing. That's how you make it interesting. It's a musical now. Let's do Palm Tree Panic. I know, right? It's peak. Peak hours right here. Oh, crap. Okay. No, I want to hear the music better. I like this game's soundtrack a lot. Yo. Okay. I appreciate the scene in you, MCS. Always good to see. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to get all the time stones, which will be interesting, but not... Wait, what's the... This game has a weird level design, man. Okay. Oh, future? Past. Well, I think I'd rather go into the past. Let's go! No. You know what? No. I don't want to go in the past. Screw you, man. No. I like the freaking oh wait, googly eye fire mosquito guy, firefly. I don't know what they are. Bug creature. How did that not travel me through time? Okay, there. Let's go. Be in the past now. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Okay, that was weird. Oh! We got our projector thing. No, I just got here, man. I'm not going to the future. I'm gonna chill in the past. Got a lot of Triforces in the background, don't we? Instead of the usual checker pattern. I like all the little birds flying. It's nice. Wait, can I get in there? Oh wait, yeah I can. Cause there's a thing. Oh, I got 50 rings, so that's enough to get to the special stage, at least. Oh, crap. Oh. Huh. Weird. Okay, well. Let's just go on our merry way and try not to get hit by anything weird here. Oh, how do I get in there? Somehow I knew that would happen. Dang you, Sonic CD. Stop being Sonic CD. Okay. Oh, sorry. I forget I have the super peel out, but like... Why do I need it? Oh, that was kinda cool. Oh, rings. I need 50, come on, man. Okay, that was kinda cool. Shield. That's exactly what I need right now. Actually, so... Under oh! There's the robot generator thingy. We did it. We saved the timeline. And, um... 
special stage too, because why not? I like that. Made a good future. I like that uh, thingy, it says. Okay, I'm not the best at these special stages, but I'll try here. Oh, crap. Okay, whatever. I didn't even see that. I like the freaking Mode 7 graphic here. Giving me F-Zero vibes. That's it? Give me more of a challenge. No, I don't want a challenge actually, because I'm bad at these. Usually. Let's freaking go. Time stones. Also, I believe there's only six of them. I'm gonna go this way, there's rings. I mean, when have the rings ever steered me wrong? They did just then, and there. Oh, there's a pass sign right here. Well, don't mind if I do. That's always fun. Also, I feel like the drop dash massively breaks this game, but it's also fun, so it's allowed. Yo, that was sick, man. Whoa. Okay. Um... We sure are in the past a lot. This game sure has some funny looking critters, huh? to save the future, man. Be like trunks or something, I don't know. I mean... Okay, granted, I know I'm already gonna do this with shells later, but like... I wanna, I wanna at least, you know, scout out the locations of these robot generator things, because like... Seems fun to explore. Since I saved the timeline already, I might as well just get the future time. That is OP. You can just use the drop dash, like, back and forth, and then you can get to the future immediately. Oh yeah, I forgot a uh, freaking... I can check my chat on the phone. That way I don't have to switch it back and forth between the window. So, uh, give me a second to pull that up. Hold up. Okay, it's up. Oh, wow. Oh, the platforms are a lot more moving in the, in the present timeline, so that's cool. Yeah, 
That is definitely a pair of spikes. I think that's the end of the level. Wait, why is there a rock here? You know what, this is just better Sonic 1. I like this game. Also, thank you for the follows, everyone. I don't really get notifications for some reason, but... When I get follows, but uh, it's telling me on this app, so... It's helpful to know. Oh man, these UFOs are hard to get. Yeah, crushing it. Oh crap. Okay. These first two stages are pretty easy. The third stage is what gave me trouble. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the third act is in the good future. Future, let's go. Oh, there's so many goodies. Time for the best boss theme in history. Wait, I didn't know he was pink in the future. Also, that, that was like nothing. What the? That's it? That's the boss? This game has incredibly short levels, I swear. But I mean, it's fun, so I don't mind. Banger alert right here. Oh, hi, Amy. What happened to all the voices that play in this freaking game? Do they really want to freaking make all the characters silent? I mean, I guess that's okay, but like... It was a funny thing in CD. You know what? Okay. I'm in the future, for no reason in particular. I just feel like it. Hold up a second. Well, this certainly is level design. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. I get to go with the past again? Let's freaking go! Okay, apparently that was enough speed. I don't- this game's really weird sometimes. I don't know when I have enough speed and when I don't. Okay, let's look for that robot generating thing. Doop, doop. Ow! Okay, well that hurt. No, I'm not going to the future. Screw you. No, wait! Okay. I didn't want to go to the future. Eh, I don't know how that thing works. the slicers from Sonic 2. Not really, but... Well, there's a projector up there. That's something I should destroy at least. Future. I don't know why I picked that up, but... It might be helpful later. I'm just gonna not be fast. Simple. Dang, I thought I saw it, but... I like seeing all the levels populated by the little animals. It makes it more fun. Oh! No! This game's wacky collision made me- Okay, actually, that wasn't my- I mean, that was kind of my fault. I picked up the future sign. But, whatever. Eh, we'll go right back to the past anyway. Who cares? Or not. Okay, screw everything. Am I right? Wait a minute. Hey, this is illegal. How do I how do I get out of here? Okay, let's go. I didn't find the robot generator, but that's okay. I mean, 
I don't have to get all of them. Okay. Special stage three. Let's go. This is easy, actually. Holy crap! Okay, you just did like a super jump. I think the biggest issue here is the depth perception is weird. Because it's funky level 7 graphics. Oh crap. Wait. Wait. Yo, did I I did it! I got the third time stone. Let's go. Apparently these time stones are also in Sonic Side AM, so that's a thing. Okay. What are even are these? They look like freaking molecules or something. I don't know. Why are they here? What purpose? Is it? What the heck? Why is there a freaking butterfly here to kill me? Can't even reach that. Okay. Oh, no, I can. Whatever, man. Going to the future? Probably not. Yeah, let's let's go here. Oh crap! I see it. Let's go. We gotta go to the past. Like I know where the generator is. I can see it right there. Just gotta take a second and use. Funky momentum powers. Let's go. Momentum is here. Now I just gotta figure out how to get up there. I mean, I guess I could just use momentum there too. Easy enough. he reach that? I don't think he goes any higher. Crap. Okay, I might need to use a spin. How, how the heck do I get up there? Okay, I'm gonna have to find another way. Oh wait, maybe it's this way. There you go, not cool. Wait, I have an idea. Nope, no idea. Wait a minute, what if I could just... Hmm. No, why, why is there rings along the wall? I don't know why those are there. I am confused, but I'll figure it out.
I'll backtrack a bit. I mean, there's this thing. Why is that even there? What purpose does it serve? I don't know. Back over here. Nope. Okay, I could possibly get through this way. I have a feeling this is where I need to go. Oh! Yes! Okay, I figured out how to get it. My tails, that'd be a lot easier though. Let's go back to the future and not really. Like hit 1985 movie. Springs are very fun. This game has a lot of that, but it's okay. I love it anyway. And random useless molecule looking bubble thing. But they're funny. Let's pop them. I mean, I guess it is Collision Chaos Zone, but like, I don't know. What is the theme here? Go into the future. Future. Okay, I can't even get to the future. Wait. No. No, you can't do this. Oh, wait, what? I thought it saves me at the last checkpoint. Or did I not hit any checkpoints? Crap, I have to collect all these rings again. That's okay, I need to get 50. That's what's important, fellas. And of course, the slicer here is preventing me from doing that. Okay, I'll try to breeze through the level. I mean, it probably remembers I killed that generator at least. I thought I remember hearing someone say that the frickin' checkpoints, and, like, if you get a checkpoint and then, like, go on in the menu, it just frickin' brings you back to where you were with the same ring, but I don't know. Oh, uh, frickin' slicers. I'm just gonna pop them. Nope, not today. Physics, okay. At this point, I might as well just try to collect rings instead. Is there any down here, or is it just a bunch of platforms? Oh, hi! I don't know what these do. This game stinks now. Just kidding, but it does have weird parts sometimes.
What is the purpose? No! Wait, I can jump to deflect those? Yo. Okay. Future. I'm not going to the future yet. Boom. No more robots here. They're all gone. Future. Boom! We did it! Or at least, according to my calculations, that should be done. I mean, I destroyed the generator. So, I mean... Okay, I, actually, the generators are really cool, because, like, if I destroy the... If I destroy it, all the robots will be gone from the level, so, like... That's cool to make the level easier, even if I'm not going for all of them. I mean, if I want, I could just make some of the levels easier and choose the difficulty as I go. That's neat. No. Get rewarded for going out of my way and exploring. That's fun. And I have enough rings for the end. Okay, I don't... I don't know. I don't feel like going up there right now. Ah, crap, there's still weird spikes, like, the yard zone. Oh yeah, you know what, it might have just been because I didn't get a checkpoint. Like, this level has, like, no checkpoint. Wait, what the... What the heck was that? I'm just scared of running into some random spike. Yeah, like, right here. Boom. Let's go. Well, I made a good future in Zone 2, not in Zone 1, but... Wait, it says Zone? It's called Zone instead of Act? That's weird. I don't like that. Oh crap. What are rings even for in these stages? Guess that keeps me alive. Probably. Where's that freaking UFO? Whoa. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh no. I'm running out of time. No, I was right next to that guy. Yo. Oh, okay, give me more time. Too bad I'm losing it all. No! Okay, restart. Best feature in this whole game. Falling in the water, you just lose like 10 every time. Calculated, except not really, I failed in every regard. Man, hitting them is some, it's kind of hard. Zoning just zips around, you know what, just, just die Zoning. Just drown in the water. Oh, I didn't notice there's a counter at the top. That's helpful. No okay, we got five of them. A 
panels. I don't suppose that it's like, I don't, they're just flat panels on the ground. I don't think they're Sonic, exactly. I don't know the logistics of this. It also kind of reminds me of Super Mario Party. Uh, I mean, then again, I don't know all the most seven games. I'm listening off the air. Someone just should just put the space to F0 or Mario Kart. Make it fun. Let's go. Four time stones. We gonna save the future, boys. I think we only need two left. Bad future, but it doesn't really matter. Let's fight the easy boss. Honestly, I'm glad the freaking X3s aren't like full blown levels in this game like they are in Sonic 1, because. I mean, you get kind of tired of it by that point. Very interesting. I don't know what they're saying between both of them though. Get up there, Sonic! Also, this just sounds like uptown punk. When it's like. Getting the real Sonic movie vibe from this. Oh my god, okay, finally. You mean, no. No. Also, I think they changed the spike sound, I don't know. Hi there, Flaxer. Sonic Boom is a good song, by the way. I liked it a lot. I just thought Choo Choo Sonic Warrior would be a cool stream name. Oh my god, just get up there! Freaking Sonic! This boss always takes, like, way too long. This just reminds me of when I was playing Mania on Hormone. I don't know. I just have my freaking like, um, laptop mounted on a bunch of stuff because it's too low otherwise. Like, I want to be able to stand around and play the game, and I can't do that all the time, so. Oh my god, okay. This is, this is bad. This is going awful, man. I should probably reposition it, but I always didn't really think much of it. Okay, get up there, Sonic. This is the only boss I don't like, I think. But then again, it's been a while since I've played CD. Get up there, you little... Ah! Uh, okay, there. I do be not gonna pinball. Genuinely, what is the point of that shield? You can't even really lose on this fight. Wait a minute. Yeah, get up there. 
Oh my god. This is just like when I was failing at the Mania Pinball. Mania Encore. The bonus stage. Give me that. Okay. Okay. Let's just get up in there again. Massive pain. I am sorry to all two, all five or so viewers that have to put up with this right now. Okay. What? Why am I so bad? What? What? Generally, what? Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna sit down for a sec. Chill out. Okay. I am chill. Right now I'm just going for the time stones, but I'm looking for the generators. Like, when I can, like, manage to come across them, because I want to do that in, when I play as Hill. Because that'll be easier to get. It'll be easier to get them if I'm flying with Hill. So I'll just do that method of completing the game mode. Oh my god! Just, just stop! At least this isn't the freaking US boss music. This would drive me crazy even more. Freaking evil clown music. Genuinely, who thought this boss was a good idea? Okay, okay, we, we, we almost finally made it up there. Holy crap! We did it! Also, why is Eggman's sprite so weird in this game? He looks like freaking Sonic 06 Eggman. He's got, like, ears. He's realistic looking. This is like one of the best zone zone music zone songs in the game. Bro, that is just Mario pipe. Who are you who are you actually? You know what? No, I'm going that way. There's there's goodies down there, I know it. This is just lab labyrinth zone, but better. Also, I actually like labyrinth zone, so um Let's put that on the list of weird things that I like, Pink. Oh, pass. No. Let me back. Let me back. Wait. Oh crap, I'm dying. Oh no. Okay. Why is there spikes there? Who, who thought this was a good idea? I like how every CD level has like weird patterns on the freaking level geometry. Like, what well, the freaking palm tree panic has, uh. Wait, what? How are you supposed to get up here? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Palm tree panic had triforces. This zone has polka dots everywhere. Oh, am I supposed to go the other way? I'm kind of silly. And I forget what collision came off that already, so... You know what? Future. Yeah! Speed. I am speed. I'm guessing the camera's a little better like this. Yeah, we got a pun skipper here. Oh, 
Um, get me out of the water. Wait, what? Okay. I want to get that future sign. I mean, past sign. I mean, no one wants to go to the future. They just do it for no reason. <laughs> Representing the most OP way to get to the future. Yeah, let's go. Or, not future, but past, or whatever. Whatever you want to- Ow! Okay. Oh yeah, there's probably a pass sign nearby, too. Maybe. Future. No, I don't want to go to the freaking future. I just got here. Sonic CD, but you have to take a shot every time you travel through time. You'll be dead by the... Wait, what? No, wait, I don't have rings. This would normally be the part where I could re where I'd restart it, but I mean, I have this many rings already, so like... That is so OP, by the way. I love it. Let's go. I'm gonna take you back to the past. Okay, those guys are annoying. Surely we can find some vault of rings around here, right? Uh, before drowning. Um, okay, not going to. Okay. Oh, maybe there's some up here. Oh, wait, no, I'm... Ah! Oh, only... Oh! Okay. Okay, I know where the generator is here. Between some Mario pipes. Dang, I thought that was ring. if I can get rain. I don't see the point of that. I need like- oh crap! Wait! 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 I need more rings! I'm- I'm almost got it, man! I'm, I'm committed to these time stones. Oh man, I've already almost spent 10 minutes here. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, where am I? Wait. No. Okay. Oh. Like, I found rings by accident. Let's go. Okay. 
let's go. This is exactly where I want it to be right now. I'm not happy. Wait, there's a pass sign. Wonder how you get that. That's weird. Okay. Boom. We made it to the special stage again. Well, at least I know where the generator is. I just don't know where the pass signs are. Next to it. That's another thing. You gotta know where the signs are, too. Oh, wow, we're in some city now. It looks like chemical plant or something. Or genocide city zone. Or cyber city zone. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever your preference is. Wait, is that freaking oil? Let's get him. Oh, oh crap. I forget what time stone I'm using on right now. I heard the fifth stage is hard, but I don't know. Is this the fifth one? Because I'm not having any trouble with it. At all. I was told by a friend that it was hard. Yeah, okay, apparently that's the fifth stage. Okay, one second, everyone. Why would I want to get this, genuinely? Bikes are fun. Oh, let's go past. Dang it. No, I'm not losing all these right now. Come on, Sonic. How do you even get that?
I love doing that. Let's go to the future. I mean past. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. Wait, what did I just hit? I guess it was one of those Metal Sonic things. Oh yeah, I can go through the wall. I thought that was an enemy, but it's actually just a fish. I don't know what Scott the Was means. There's plenty to explore in these levels. I like how they're like fluffy platforms now. Wait, is this a loop? Am I stuck? What is happening? I am confused! This is like Labyrinth Zone now. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go back now. I don't know where the robot generator is. Sonic has to go 1.21 gigawatts. Get 1.21 gigawatts to get to the future. Can he do it, boys? He's gotta go 88 miles. So many rings in this zone. You suck, okay. Well, I don't see any sign of any generator. But... Oh, we found it! Okay. Well, now I can safely do this. Go to I'm glad that was found. Oh yeah, I still have to hold on to my rings. Gotta be careful. Well, looks like my exploring paid off. I found the right way, and now I am on a good track. Let's go. Special stage. Oh my god! Why didn't they change that effect? I'm gonna, people are going to get seizures. This Sonic stage is brought to you by LSD.
Oh my god, what the heck? Who thought this background was a good idea? Like, I thought the Sonic 1 special stage background was pretty. Like, bro, this is crazy. My eyes are hurting just looking at this. Okay, I can't even get one guy here. Come on. Come on, Sonic. Sonic! I like screaming Sonic, that's my new favorite thing to do in these streams. I'm running out of time. This is not good. Just, just die. Dang it. I had that guy too. Oh man, it's getting faster. No! Oh crap! No! Actually, I needed that. Thank you. Make Sonic slow the heck down here. Oh my god, this one's hard. There's like way too many UFOs. Oh, nice. The blue one's give me time. That makes sense. Oh, uh, there's one way over there. Yeah, except I am almost out of time. No! 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 Genuinely no! Gen- Yes! No! Wait, was that it? I did it! Wait, I didn't even have to destroy the blue one. Purple! Oh. There, there, is there seven? I don't know. I guess there is seven of them. Oh, I got pinged. What's up, Discord? Okay. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. It's just this this labyrinth zone boss but easy. No, wrong, wrong music. Mid zone. Okay, let's do Sonic CD missions. 
Bro, why are these all zones I don't have unlocked? It's like they always have me in the later zone. Go to speed. No. You know what? I can't do any of these yet. Screw you. Well, except for this one, I guess. Travel to the past and future true time. Wait, really? That's it? Okay, that's easy. Apparently, they wanted to bring this zone back in media. But, um. That was scrap. Oh, yeah, this is like the best song in the whole game. Oh, yeah, that would require me knowing where the past lines are. Wait. To do this in a good amount of time. Yes. 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 Oh, I did it. Taga Taga are swarming. Defeat ten. What the heck is a Taga Taga? I don't know what that is. Oh, that guy. Okay, that's a. Okay, we gotta kill the Taga Taga guys. Taga Taga. I do not like Taga Taga. Easy, what the heck? Wait, what if I just won and then drowned? Oh, apparently winning keeps him from drowning. Twinkle Tail is too- oh wait, no. Or Contra- eh, sure. Let's do the Palm Tree Pinnacle. Reach the goal without touching any enemy. Mercy. Wait, what? Okay, touching an enemy just kills you. You 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 kill any of these bad nicks? Lights up for you, man. You shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, okay. Is there rings? Okay, so they can touch me, but if I touch them, lights out I guess. Yeah, they they killed me, but I, I still died. So I guess by touch, they don't they mean don't do anything. What the heck is the point of having rings if you just die? What the heck? I'm gonna go. Bro. The mosquito is on my worst nightmare. Also, I'm wearing my Crash 4 shirt because that game also involves time travel. I couldn't think of anything else, so. I wanted to be creative. I'm gonna run out of time. Oh no, I didn't. These missions are a lot easier than the Sonic 1 ones. I guess that is accurate though, because this game is easier than Sonic CD. Why to get 50 rank? Well, oh, Tails, let's go! seconds, not too bad. I went to flight school, I know how to do this. I don't like the face he makes though. That's because the internet has painted me however. Okay. Easy. 
Oh. Reach for th get fifty rings and then reach the goal, huh? You're gonna have to be a little faster then. Well, I guess that means I don't have to stop and slow down. Again, I mean, maybe. I think the best thing I learned from these streams is that Taga Taga exists. That is all. Easy. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a mod that replaced Tails' victory screen, so he does that instead of just standing there. Travel the past, present, and future at one time while in mirror mode. That is a lot. But, I mean, obviously, I can handle it because I have the drop down. But they didn't account for that, did they? Okay, where do I go? Crap. Where is those signs? Oh, okay, I found one. I'll do it the old fashioned CD way. Okay, screw you. I could do it the way the game is intentionally designed, but where's the fun in that? Bro, how is that an added up speed? I don't understand this game. Wait, I can go to the past instead. Hit this future sign at the beginning. What am I? What am I doing? That's obviously the most ideal way. I just wasn't thinking. Part of the plan. Okay, whatever. I'll make it work. I know. I know the way they want me to do it. They're just wasting my time. Time traveler, Redux. Okay. 
Okay, hold up a second. Let me just check some stuff. Wait a minute, if I get this and then do this, that works too. Boom. Easy. Yo! Yo, look at him! He was doing a mad spin. It was a crazy sight to behold. Kama Kama are swarming. Defeat 30 of them within 3 minutes. I mean, I'm down to Kama Kama. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's what they call the freaking mantises? Okay, those aren't slicers. Guide me, I went the wrong way. This one's not too bad so far. Oh crap! I fell all the way down. How am I gonna beat this now? Speed up, sped up Eggman and reach the goal. Okay, the spot is easy. Oh, bro, 15 seconds. Sure, it's an easy spot. Oh. Holy crap. When they said sped up, they meant it. And there's more spikes on the ground because I don't know. Okay. Oh, 
Uh, holy shoot. What? What? And it wastes like 10 seconds on the boss intro. How do they want me to beat it this fast? What? What? Genuinely what? It takes him like ten, four seconds just to spawn in. Bruh. This guy. Okay, let me look this up. Hold up a second. Um, Eggman speed up boss. Mission. Oh wow, there's 71 missions? Crazy. This is an Eggman speed up. This is a different mission. Okay. How does he do it? Oh, bruh, what? You have to be- you have like one extra second to do this. The spikes make it so much more annoying. Why can't I just, like, bounce off of him without hitting spikes? Oh. Oh. Okay, good enough. I think we did it. Wait, did he just die? How? Hold up a second. You know what? I forgot to post Sonic CD in my freaking so I'm just gonna put that as a hashtag hold up everyone Most of these involve future zones, so.
More time. Nope. Well, this is rough. Yeah. I mean, even without retry, I think this game you can just hit exit and then continue and you still have all your rings, apparently, so... You can also do that, I think. And then re keep retrying your Emerald Hill. So that's another exploit there. I think the hardest problem is trying to see where the heck the UFOs even are. The draw distance here. Yo, I got it. Off oh, crap. Uh, that wasn't good. Give me a time. Power up. Okay. Okay, maybe I can do this. Yeah. Heard about it. Pretty great. Where was the purple UFO that I'm looking for? Oh man. Wait, it's all the way off back of there? What? I can't even find the last one. What the heck, man? Okay. I'm gonna keep trying. I got this. I mean, I had a friend tell me Special Stage 5 was the hardest, and I beat it on the first try. So maybe they were thinking of this one. Or maybe I just beat a hard stage. I don't know. I'm gonna get that blue one. I need more time, probably. Oh, there's a purple one. Wow, that's crazy. Oh no, where'd it go? I feel like turning around is the hardest part. Crap, I need more time. And my aim is not very good. Okay, I'm gonna hit that one. Uh, it was a risk, and it wasn't worth it. Ah, okay. Wait, I am supposed to hit the blue ones? I thought there was another purple one. Because I swear, in some other stages, I hit every all of the UFOs except for one of the blue ones. And it, it didn't... It didn't... Uh, I still won, despite not destroying one of them. But, I guess that also could just mean that there's more UFOs than they want you to destroy or something. So that makes more sense. Also, yeah, that sounds like a good way to do it. I plan to do, um, destroy all the robot generators, but, um, right now I'm just getting the time zones, because getting the robot ge generators is a lot easier with him. Okay, well, whatever. Forge Cosmet is pretty cool, though it's really sure and easy, so... Got good music, at least. Okay. Let's go. Did I just... Um... Okay. Let's do it! Let's go! Run on the walls, boys! I guess that was a little bit of a shortcut. I feel like that might have been in the freaking 2011 version too, but like, I don't know. Still a cool trick. <laughs> Bro, this level is... That, that took one minute! <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I don't even need 50 rings now. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know it destroys the generator, so... I guess even if I wanted to see where they were, um, I can't now, because I got all the time stones. 
Oh, so only the extra time one doesn't count. I guess that makes sense, then. Because, like, that was the only one I didn't get once. I was like, okay, yeah, I guess I don't have to get blue ones. But no, it's the purple one. This is one of the best songs in the game. I like it. This boss was also pretty neat. Yeah, I can see that. That's how I beat this game too. It's just the only problem is, like, it can be pretty hard to look around the level sometimes. Last time I played this game way back in like 2012, I just used the freaking level maps on Sonic Retro and just beat it that way. Like, I just followed the map and then beat the level, but, like, I mean, that's not, like, bad, necessarily. I still had to, like, you know, go and play through the level and get there, figure out how to do it, so... It's still valid. Yeah, it is kind of fun to see where the signs are and, and the best way to get, uh, you know, go fast. So this version of the game kind of breaks it, so you can just, most, most of the time, you're just able to do the drop dash and then do it instantly. <laughs> Which is kind of broken, but I like it because I feel like I struggle at getting the freaking speed. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'd like to hear it. I was thinking um, earlier what potential this game would have for challenges, because, like, you could just only play the game in the future, for example, if you wanted. Like, what if you just took a future sign, restarted the level, and then only played game levels in the future? Like, I think that would be kind of cool. Like, doing only one, like, pass for all the stages. What, what, what was the challenge, though? Was it, like, no spin dashing, or, like, no super p -la? I mean, I don't even use the p so it can't be that one. Who uses the p uh, I, I mean, I use it, like, twice, or occasionally the game speed instantly, but it's faster. Yeah, I'd like to hear about it. Cause that sounds pretty neat. In semi-related news, meanwhile, I've been watching Sonic Sad AM, and there's an episode with time stones and time travel, so... That's interesting. Oh my god, I keep filling this boss. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds pretty rough already. Only hard part in the full zone. What else could there be? Also, I forget if the spin dash was in the original CD. I've never played. I mean, actually, okay, I have played it, but it was the gem version, so which is the PC version. The red at the bottom of that machine looks like blood. Let me, I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Destroy the robot generator, destroy the metal sonic. Oh yeah, by the way, what are those metal sonic protectors even for? Cause like, you destroy the generator, you get the good future, but like, what do the jet? I, I, I don't even know what you, the Metal Sonic things are even for. I assume they're for something, but I don't know. I've only seen them a couple times so far. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I do like the animals, so... I do want to get those Metal Sonic things, because uh, seeing the animals run around the stage is actually a really neat idea. And I like how, you know, it gives, like, some life to the world of Sonic, which you don't usually see in levels, anyway. 
Like, throughout the later worlds, you only usually see in, like, you know, the Sonic Hub world, so... It's neat to see stuff running around in levels. Oh boy, wacky workbench. Everybody's favorite. Anyway, that sounds crazy. So you go to the bad future, but then you have to go back to the past. And then you have to get all the generators and projector. That's pretty that's pretty neat. I'd like to see that. Maybe I don't know if you streamed it or anything, but I'd be willing to check it out for sure. How genuinely how are you supposed to go to the future in this level? All these freaking trampolines, I bet you. From doing anything here. Oh, I kind of forgot that the freaking Frozen Sonic came from this level. It's like, I know that's a thing in Sonic Mania, but I kind of forgot about it in this game. I haven't played this in like 10 years, so I kind of forget certain things, but for the most part, it's how I remember it. Pretty fun game. Basically like Sonic 1, but funner. And I like Sonic 1 a lot, too, but, yeah. Slow time traveler. Honestly, I mean, I play the Sonic games pretty slow, too, so I think that kind of works out. Like, sometimes I go fast when the game is like, yeah, you should go fast here, but, like, otherwise, I'm usually just scouting for rings and stuff, and just destroying whatever enemies I feel like. That just re that, that's like certified Kirby Superstar moment. That's what I usually think of when I think of like speed booster things on the floor like that. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the path. This game be like, you thought you could go to the pa Oh, what? I just died. Bruh, I died right before the checkpoint. Oh, yeah, I can definitely. Oh my god, I hate this level. And you memorize where all the generators are. I just looked at level maps. That's crazy, man. Must be really hard. I mean, all the freaking parts in this level look the same, so I don't imagine being able to find the generator without a map. It's nice. Nope, couldn't go in the path. I'm sad. Actually, why don't I just go to the future? It's good now. Yeah, it's already hard enough in the base game, most of the time, because, like, other than, like, like, very small portions of levels where you can, you might be able to run, and, like, parts where they intentionally have, like, two springs placed next to each other, there usually isn't that many areas you can do it, even though it's, like, the main gimmick of the game. So that's like the only issue I have, other than like, random like spikes and like springs placed about sometimes, but otherwise it's a fun game. I mean, I don't really care that the level design is wacky, because, you know, it's fun. Like, good game. Other than this level, and I guess... Metallic Madness isn't great either, from what I remember, but... I mean, they made it cool in Sonic Mania, so... Yes. 
Oh, yo, let's go. Well, I was playing for Sonic 2 after all, so, like, I don't know. And if it really was an afterthought, I mean, why would they go through all that effort to design three different layouts for all the levels? Like, I don't know, I just feel like the game was, like, really weirdly developed, and that's probably okay, like, I don't know what happened, but... Like, there's certain areas where the game is, like, really cool, and others where it just feels like they weren't really thinking about it. It be like that. Oh, yeah. This, you know what? Actually, with this zone, is much better, because I like these spinny things. They're kind of fun. Spinny things are definitely fun. Future. Let's go to the future, where it's all good now. That's definitely a good part where you can easily get to the future and pass. Yes. We're finally in the good future. It's still annoying, but it's fun. I wonder if there's anybody who likes this level, though. I mean... Hey, yo, we got Tetris blocks here. Or maybe they're Legos, I don't know. I'm pretty sure one of the guys that was like, that worked on Sonic 1 made this game, which makes sense, because this game feels like more of a, like, not, this one feels like more of a, I guess, true follow-up to Sonic 1, while Sonic 2 is more of a, seek, you know, more successor to Sonic 1, like the sequel. Like, Sonic 2 is the sequel, this game is kind of like, Sonic 1, but, like, not Sonic 1, I guess. Kind of a, like, weird in-between the two games. Cool. Yeah, definitely. Like, they got a lot of, like, cool momentum areas, and, like... Like, I feel like Sonic 1 was, like, more about, like, pinball physics and, like, momentum stuff, and Sonic 2 was the speed game, but, uh, yeah. I like the little birds flying around. They must have just, like, slapped the spin dash in after, like, seeing it in Sonic 2 or something. Like, maybe they were just like, oh crap, Sonic 2 has this, we have to add it in, and then it just, just kind of crap. I forget, because I haven't played the Gems version in, like, forever. And that's apparently a worse version than the Sonic Sega CD version. Oh yeah, this boss is cool, I like this one. It's like, platformy. Oh, I'm dead. You know, they might have added it while Sonic 2 was in the, still in development, too. Another thing I noticed with this game while replaying it is that after Sonic 1 is that the axeries definitely exist like Sonic 1, but the levels are so short that they might as well just be at the end of the second act, because like, you take, you take like 30 seconds to get to the boss and then that's kind of it. So I, can, I, I definitely prefer it that way, because Sonic 1's Act 3 is like, usually dragged on way too long, so it's like, whatever. By the way, I did uh, two other streams of Sonic 1 last time I played it, so that's pretty cool. 
Ah, uh, my ring. Ah, uh, hang on. Yeah, you just kind of fight the boss. There's like a mini, mini level, I guess. Like you go up to the boss and then it's the boss. This one's kind of hard. I'm gonna grab more rings. I might need them. Okay, let's go. That's also really cool to see new viewers. Okay. Let's go. Also, another thing I noticed, I know the, so the freaking Sonic CD spray for Eggman is kind of weird, but then I noticed it's inconsistent, because this one is just the Sonic 1 spray, like in this ship, and the other times it looks more realistic, like it's not even consistent. Kind of funny. And now he do. He's doing a cha-cha in this little robot thing, I don't know. Okay. Let's go. Oh, Jarda Speedway. I was thinking of doing missions, but I might as well just play this, because I like Zarda Speedway. Turn it up! Get down! Yeah, it looks kind of like the freaking Sonic 06 design, honestly. Like, he has, like, ears. And, like, I don't know, it's slightly more realistic, and it's somewhat surreal, but... Interesting how the past version was the one they used in Sonic Mania, but it, I mean, it does look cool, so... Like, fair enough. Also, not gonna lie, Mania made this level even cooler, so... There's that. Oh, are we going to the future already? Sure. Let's go. Yeah, and then, uh, the boss was the future, the bad future, I think? Or maybe it was the good future, I don't know. What the heck? I am stuck! Okay. That was funny, but I guess it's for time travel. Ah. Uh, oh, what the? What the? What? Man, there's really weird what the what kind of moments sometimes in this game. Bro, that level is short as heck. It's almost as short as Starlight Zone in Sonic 2. Cause like that is a really good zone, but like Axe 2, for example, only took me like a minute to beat. And I was collecting a ring. Get down. Also, I'm gonna be using the US soundtrack when I play this game with um what who is it? Tails. What? Why, why, why am I struggling to say anything today? I'm silly. Okay. Oh, this part's funny. It's a bunch of mazes. Wait, what? Am I not supposed to go this way? Wonder why they even changed the soundtrack to begin with. 
another weird thing about this game. I've never heard of such a, like, weird discrepancy between games other than, like, game, like, Sonic CD is, like, a major game in a franchise, and then you have, like, I mean, I can think of this with a couple other games, like, freaking, uh, I don't know, Warriors Woods on the NES, that's a different soundtrack in Europe, but, otherwise, I don't really know any major games that do this. Uh, I would just assume rights issues, but I don't actually know. Maybe it was also just another Sega of America and Japan thing, and then they couldn't agree on something, and then they just... America took a different direction. Yeah, I don't know if it sounds necessarily American, it just kind of sounds ambient. <laughs> I mean, it's not like the Japan soundtrack has any, like, predetermined feel to it either. Like, it doesn't really feel Japanese, I guess. Like, anybody... I, I don't know if I could just set it to one region anyway, like, it's just a thing. Bruh, so they made it to a field in the west, but they changed it anyway. Yo, the hype music. This boss is a lot easier with the drop ass, by the way. It absolutely destroys Metal Sonic. That's kind of funny, then. Bruh, I almost feel bad about how easy the drop dash made that. Maybe I should try it without it next time. Well, I mean, I guess I would anyway, because... I mean, I'd be playing as Tails. Tails doesn't have that. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing Tails in Anniversary mode. Or maybe I should just do classic mode, because it's basically the same as this mode, but... Without the games tied together. Like... Anniversary mode is just story mode, but without, like... The stuff, you know, put together. So, like... I think I'd just rather play classic mode, even though that mode isn't that different either. You ever just purposely want to play the game with screen crunch? Well, here you go. Yeah, I was thinking, like, you know, maybe they just did a couple things to make it more like the originals, but apparently not. It's kind of weird. Actually, maybe I shouldn't even play Classic War. I don't know. What am I thinking? Wait, I can't go into the background? I must be just thinking of Sonic Mania. So I imagine I probably get at least one achievement for playing games in classic mode, so I might want to do that eventually. I'm guessing Classic Mode doesn't use the original Sega CD cutscenes for Sonic CD either. Like, that would be neat, right? Because those haven't been seen since, you know, the Sega CD version. 
then again, the original Sega CD version is being on the is on the freaking um, Genesis Mini 2, which is coming out. So, dang, that's sad. Would have been neat to put in a couple of things to make it like the original, at least. Let's make the spin dash work. Like, imagine they just did that. Like, what if they were a remaster of the original version and not like this? Like, I'm sure it would just take a couple tweets. But I guess that would be too much work, too, so... I guess there's not much of a point. By the way, speaking of that, um, there's a mod to play anniversary mode with lives. So that way you can play the game with lives, with wide screen, because, you know, you can do that in the freaking 20, you know, 11 re-releases, so like, you know, that's cool. Actually, they're not all from 2011, but, you know. The attack, you know, the mobile port. That way you can, you know, if you want live, but also widescreen, there's an option for you. Yeah, I got it on PC, so I can, like, get all the cool hot fixes, because I know the game had a couple problems, and just stuff that could be a little bit better, so... Modding is awesome. For that. Okay. Let's go to the future. Oh, that didn't work. That's fair. I don't play my PS5 a lot too yet, but I mean, I know it'll get games I want to play eventually, so... I'm just like, whatever. Where do I go? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that guy's annoying. Oh, no! How am I supposed to time travel with these little guys knocking me around? That's also fair. There's already mods to put the freaking Michael Jackson music in this game, too. As well as, like, um, the original prototype music. When I get the Sonic 3, I'm just gonna be using that mod, because, like, I like the Michael Jackson music, but, I mean, I also want to get the prototype music a chance, so... I feel like that's the best middle ground, because, like, they messed up the music for no reason. When the prototype sounded completely fine. Like, what? why does it sound like that? I don't know. Apparently they used earlier versions than the version featured in Sonic Collection on PC. So, like, even earlier than that. Weird. Yeah. Good point. I just hope there's a mod to get Knuckles and CD, because I don't know if they'll be allowed to do an update for the game to do that, and they probably won't. I mean, they didn't do an update to Monkey Ball to make the other costumes in the freaking um, much it called? The party mode, but like, if they can't do that, then they probably will not add Knuckles to CD, even though it would be cool. I just want to play as Knuckles, man. I think that would be me. Yep. Fair enough, man. There's a lot of good fan versions of certain games, so... Damn. I mean... Stealth did say that he wanted to help update the game at least, and 
pick certain things, but we don't know if they'll even be allowed to do that, so I don't know. Gotta love TV Sonic. He is huge. I don't know why this is in the level, but I like it. Yeah, I know they didn't mean Knuckles, but like, I want Knuckles. Dang it. This game needs updates. I hope they don't get in trouble by Sega for that post, though, because, like, I mean, I want a Mania 2 in other games. Wait, which way am I even supposed to go? This game's confusing. I don't... Right, I'm just going in circles. Okay, apparently that didn't kill me. They most, most of the love was put into Sonic 3, everything else was kind of just left untouched. Sadly. Am I going this way? No, I already went this way. What is happening? Oh wait. Apparently this game ending is like interesting, but like, I don't know what that is, so. I'll wait until I see it. Honestly, I don't think Frontiers is looking awful right now, but... Like, I can tell Sega's having a hard time with Sonic. At the moment, I mean, when aren't they to be fair? But like, I don't know. A lot of stuff right now. I mean, they're mad with Sega, but I mean, I don't think that means they want to like give up on like their stuff, because like. I mean, we got, like, talented people like Ian Flynn still working with them, despite all the mandates and other crud that Sega makes them work with, work with sometimes. Oh, I had to go that way the whole time, what the heck. Yeah, I wonder what they're up to. I know T. Lopes is, like, you know, has, did Creature Rage and, um, freaking uh, Ninja Turtles, which was a really cool game, by the way. My brother got it recently, and I played it with him. Oh, crap. No! Wow, this, this level is way too long. Oh, wait, I have to hit the button. Honestly, instead of being Mania 2, I would just prefer if it was just, like, a new game entirely. Because I, like, I liked Mania a lot, but... Like, just imagine what, you know, they could do if they just did, like, all entirely new zones. Instead of working with a bunch of, you know, like... I mean, the old zones in Mania were really cool, too. But imagine if they were allowed to do, like, entirely new zones. That would be even cooler. Well, I mean, I'm glad we still have classic Sonic anything, like, clearly they care about them.
They just don't know what to do right now because they're afraid if they make it, you know, too original, then, you know, it won't be classics on it. And, like, you know, their experimental things is mostly what modern Sonic is doing. While classic Sonic is the one that plays it safe, I guess. That seems to be the direction, direction they're going for. Really? I mean... I mean, I like, I, I personally am okay with them doing, like, entirely classic Sonic games and, like, modern Sonic. Because, like, instead of shoehorning, like, classic Sonic, like, forces or something for no reason, they could just be making more classic games. Yeah, forces is the only one I can think of where it's kind of like, why is he here? But, like, otherwise, I think, I mean, I think classic Sonic has a place somewhere. Like, that 30th anniversary comic IDW did was really cool. I, I had that recently, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting mixed reactions from it, but, I mean, at least I know that Ian Flynn will try his best to make the story, story good, because that guy's awesome. Why do I keep dying here? Oh my god. That guy is a legend. Speaking of Flynn, I've been reading the Archie comics recently, starting from the beginning, and they're kind of cool. I mean, I know they're not always the best quality-wise, but, like, I feel like that's kind of part of the... That's kind of part of the charm. Well, apparently he didn't, like, do the plot outline, but he's doing all the writing for the characters. So, like, they gave him an outline, and he's working with that. I heard that, if anything, that actually gives him more control than he usually would have, because, like... He's basically free-forming off, you know, a general plot outline that they gave him or something like that, apparently. Because, like, usually, he's tr he, you know, he comes up with stories, and then, and then they send him, like, a bunch of, like, things to change or whatever. So maybe this could be a little bit different. I don't know. Like, like, he isn't, like, the one that created the story, but, like, maybe he can be a little more creative. Definitely. I have good hopes for whatever comes from him, at least. This kind of- this part is kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. We got the frickin' Mega Man 1 flippy platform. Okay, I finally made it. Let's go. Oh, wait. I completely forgot this was in the game. This is where that one Mania boss came from. Also, I like how there's flowers that come out. I guess in this game, robot Eggman freaking powers his robots with flowers. I don't know how that works. I hear good things about the IDW comics, but I also hear that there might be like more mandates. Like for example. There hasn't been much of a setting change throughout much of the comics, while, like, for example, the Archie reboot had them going through a set of different locations. Yeah, I don't- how does that even work, man? Wait. Was there no checkpoints in this freaking whole level? Are you kidding me? Was- is there no checkpoint? Or did I just somehow miss it? What the heck? Okay, I, I don't like this level. Also, after I beat the boss, I will be doing the missions and stuff. So that'll be fun. 
Oh, bruh. They want me to do this whole level if I die. That, that's fun. I mean, most of the X3 levels aren't that long, but this one is a little bit much for me. Okay. I mean, it's short when I know what I'm doing, at least. I'm a little rusty on Sonic CD, so I'm kind of slipping up sometimes. Recently, I got a freaking trial to Paramount Plus so I can so we can rewatch Sonic 2. And now I'm also watching Sonic out of him, and I might watch Sonic Underground just for you know funny, but that'll be interesting, I guess. I don't even know how long Sonic Underground is. I just know it. Another Saturday AM fan here. Yeah, I've been watching through it lately too. I like season one quite a lot, and I feel like season two is even better so far. Other than the random change in Rotor's design, like, what did they do to my boy? Honestly, I wasn't too huge of a fan of Rotor in like the comics. But uh, once I saw Saturday AM, I feel like I like him a little more because doesn't sound anything like what I thought he would sound like. For some reason, I expected him to sound like... have, like, some nasally voice and sound kind of, like, goofy or something, but no, he's, he's, a, he's just kind of chill. Yeah, I feel that sometimes. I watch a lot of, like, YouTube and other stuff. Oh, I guess that's it? We, we beat the game? Okay, well, I'm gonna do some... Oh wait, ending cutscene. Oh crap, it's playing anything already. I I heard they changed the timing on this cutscene, so that's sad. I love this song, by the way. This is like one of my favorite vocal Sonic songs, actually. It's a good song. Also, I will be singing this. I don't really have much to say about this cutscene other than it's really cool. So, let's go. Bad singing time. Yeah, it's kind of bad, but it's fine. Whoa, look at what's thinking. Yeah, he's up with a pop Yeah, shivety yeah. In the end, who's on your side? Who can you trust in the middle of the night? Where will you be? You can't find you. There's no place to go. Nothing to do. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. Believe in yourself. 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 Hey! Hey, everything you believe in yourself. You have to have the faith in yourself. It's what is it for your friends? Green, 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 You've got to have some faith in yourself if you want to be strict from your brain. When you feel tired for yourself, inside your heart you will find a special place to remind. When you feel right for yourself, inside your mind you will see the second turn in a Quick break here. Yeah, 
that thing. I heard they wanted to do the original plan, which was have, like, time travel to kill part of Romantic's invincible boss or something. When you feel tight, look at yourself. Inside your heart, you will find a special place to unwind. When you feel right, look at yourself. Inside your mind, you will see a thing in time. this oh you're too cool all oh, thank you man yeah I know right there was also the desert dazzle stage but apparently they cut that because that wasn't really true to Sonic CD and that zone was apparently from Sonic 2 not Sonic CD Sonic F is that what it's called okay hi there I beat Sonic CD, but I'll still be doing more... Oh, Chaos... The Master Emerald, or Chaos Emeralds. Uh, yeah, it's Chaos Emeralds, because it's Sonic Tail. I'll still be doing more missions, even though I've just beat the game, so... Hey, yo, see you next game. That's what you see before you die. You see Tails saying, see you next game. Hey, yo, we got... We got war. Hell's being bullied. Oh no. That's, that's so cute, man. Okay, we're not doing that yet, but... I know the missions have a specific order, but I just like doing them in zone order. <clears throat> so we're gonna do Quartz Quadrant first. Travel the past the future two times. Okay. Easy. But, um, so far it was great having you guys here. I like conversating with you all and stuff. I don't remember where all the signs are. This is hard. Oh, right there. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of weak so far for Sonic CD. Like, it's mostly just find this sign and go to the past and then go to the future, and that's kind of it. It's like, more of the same thing. They're kind of samey in how they're executed, but they're, they're alright. I like the Sonic 1 missions, even though some of them made me want to, like, rage crit so hard. Those were fun, too. Let's see, Quartz Quadrant again. Oh, only two of them? I feel like there was more, but I don't really know. Oh, it just wants me to clear the stage. Surprisingly, like, not a lot of challenges are just, like, clear the stage. Yeah, that'd be cool. Judging by the game's opening, I feel like they wanted Amy to be playable, but they couldn't. Which is unfortunate, because Amy is super cool and one of my favorite characters. Okay, Quartz Quadrant Zone 2. Defeat an enemy every 10 seconds and reach the goal. Oh, it's like a time trial thing. Yeah, I suppose she is a classic character, but like, I don't know, man. You got a shot of like all the main characters. 
including one that isn't playable. It just seems weird. Okay, that was kind of weird, but... I'm gonna just replay all these missions again with the JP soundtrack later, just because... Not on stream- oh, okay, maybe on stream, but like, in a filler stream, I might do- I don't know. I mean, not JP, US soundtrack. Um, any more Quartz Quadrant? No. Okay, I guess next up is a Wacky Workbench. Bruh, use, use the Bouncing Floors. When I play this zone, I want to do the opposite of that. Bruh, why? I didn't know the. Whoops! I'm silly. Because right, that was kind of cool. Oh, there's a lot of rings over there. Oh, bro, that was easy. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I have a mod that removes the speed walk. From the game so you can like jump out of doing the drop dash and stuff because like I feel like it's weird and makes the drop dash not as fun so I think having that removed makes it a lot more fun to move around with like you just drop dash and then do a jump out of it I know right what was their what was who, what were they thinking Get 15 ring, rings and reach the goal while the floor constantly ships. Twinkle Toes. This makes me think of Avatar, the last airbender. Yo, I, was the, were these platforms in this level? I don't even remember them. Oh no, I need rings. I doubt they made entirely new assets for this mission, so I feel like they might have been there, but I just didn't get to the part with them. Also, were these made by Sega? Or the Whitehead team? Because, like, if they're Sega design, honestly, they're pretty good for what they are. They make good use of, like, you know, most of the abilities in the games, except for the time travel, which, you know... Just like Sonic CD itself, it's somewhat underutilized, despite that being, like, the main selling point, or whatever. They kind of shot their souls in the foot with the, it, to be honest. Okay, this one's kind of hard. Mostly because I don't know where these things are going. No, 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 no. Interesting. I wonder if the menus are just as laggy for you as they are for me, because in the PC version, they're just super laggy. Like, whenever I go into the museum. Speaking of which, I'm gonna check out the museum when I'm done with everything else here. I thought I was about to get hit. Yeah, like... Like, for example, I go to the museum and the whole game is just, like, super laggy. I'm guessing it's probably just because of, like, the islands thing, but I don't know. It's, like, really slow for some reason. And, like, my PC is not, it's, like, a good PC, so it's not, it can't be my computer. The game is just kind of weird. Oh no, wait. Where is the goal? Okay, this is annoying. Yeah, definitely does. 
Yeah, I was wondering how it was on PS4. So I got messing up a PC for it. What else is new? I feel like they're 50-50. Either it could be good, or sometimes it's kind of uh, crazy. Level is kind of hard. Oh my god, I keep falling off the same part. Yeah, that's weird. Well, monkeys fall. You get a PC version, which, you know, is inherently going to be cool because you can mod and stuff, but then. You know, menus aren't good, so hopefully that gets fixed by some random person, too. Probably in the future, at least. Oh my god, I keep freaking falling. I don't really like this one. Freaking Mario Snake Walk over here. Okay, I think I know where I'm going. Let's go, we did it. Ah, of course it has the Novo. Gotta wait for the De Novo removal. Or is it the Novo? I don't know. Oh no. Bruh, why is it always gotta go fast? Gotta go fast. Wait, is even Sonic faster? Okay, that's kinda cool. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster. Oh. That was, that was lame. Also, one of my friends earlier said that the enemies look like dynamite heady enemies, and honestly, I kinda of, I can kinda of see it with how they're colored and stuff. Never played that game, but I have it on the Genesis Mini. I should play that again, eventually. Yeah, I know, right? Why did this have to be in CD? Okay, now we just gotta do a Stardust, Speedway, and Metallic Madness. Don't miss a ring. Get 100 in a row. Ooh. Well, that sounds interesting. Turn it up, get down. Oh, I did another one of those warp things. Easy. Oh, wait, ah! Oh. I probably was like one second off. And that's probably just because I did the level wrap thing. Turn it up, get down! Let's go. Yeah, I knew I was one second off. That's ridiculous. Whoops. Oh wait, why am I here? 
I'm doing it in a re in a funny fun order to make mix it up. Yeah, I heard my friend already 100%. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, so far, all the Sonic CD ones are like really easy for the most part. Some of the Sonic one ones were like insane though. One was kind of like a Kaizo wobble. Almost. Ah. Probably none of these missions involve Metal Sonic. CD definitely has super easy ones compared to Sonic 1. Also, I like how they had confirmation that Sonic CD takes place first. Because, like, I think it makes sense. Because, you know, Tails isn't there yet. And, like, whatever. I think it fits there in the timeline. Even though it came out after. I think it coming out after only with a consequence of it being on the Sega CD. Which means it probably took a little longer to finish. I imagine. Because, like, you know, they had, like, the animation from Toei and stuff they probably were waiting on. And, like, stuff like that to show off how cool it is that it's on the Sega CD. I wonder how long that Toei animation even took. Must have been, like, insane. Oh man, Sonic 2. That's gonna be crazy. Oh wait, one minute, really? That's it? Okay, I can do that. I mean, I mostly 100%ed Sonic Adventure DX, and some of that, well, okay, I actually didn't technically, because freaking, um, I didn't actually do the Chow stuff, but, like, some of the mission mode stuff in that game was insane. There was a mission where Tails had to get flags and ice cap, and it was so hard, because you have to get the flags, with very precise movement, but also do it before Sonic beats the level because, you know, race gameplay. Small stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm Mini Sonic. Clears the stage, it's Mini Sonic. Let's go. I knew he was Mini Sonic. Let's go, Mini Sonic level. Wow, they made a whole album. It's two minutes player time. Okay. I want to S rank all these missions. I can definitely beat some of the Sonic 1 ones, like, for example, like easily for A rank, but the S rank was hard for some of them. Like, I don't want to just beat them, I want to S rank them. Oh, oh I, I see now. That guy is wasting my time. Oh gosh darn it, I could have done this faster too. If you want a challenge, I recommend doing the DX missions. So... Preferably, you would also, if you have Sonic Adventure 1 on, um, if you have a good PC and you have, you have Sonic Adventure 1 on Steam, it's basically the ultimate way to play that game. Because, like, you have the superior Sonic Adventure 1 graphics, I mean, Dreamcast graphics with all the extra content and other, you know, neat touches to fix the game. 
Well, not fix the game, but make it better. Pretty neat. Oh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Nice. Yeah. PC Sonic Adventure definitely is the best with the with all that stuff. Speaking of which, I do plan to play SA2 eventually. I already did an a, ser a stream series on Sonic Adventure 1, and that's on my YouTube archive channel, but um Sonic Adventure 2 is was supposed to come out before this series, but you know. I didn't have time, and, um, I had other games to play anyway. And now I'm, I might hold it out a little bit further, because I kind of want to play Toy Story 2 on the PlayStation 2. I mean, PlayStation 1. Because I have a... got my HDMI splitter recently, and I can... probably now play games on my PS3 on stream, so... Like... And it seems like a random choice, but, um, two years ago is when I, um, oh wait, not two, actually three years ago is when I technically first started streaming, and I played, like, all versions of the freaking Toy Story 1 game on freaking, um, the, you know, the Genesis slash Super Nintendo game. For no reason, I just felt like it, because, you know, I watched Toy Story 4, and I liked it. I was like, okay, I'll just play all these games. And it was funny. And that was before I even did ham and, like, voice stuff. Now my streams are much better, so I can do stuff like that, but even funnier. Uh, I'm afraid of dying. Oh, wait. I think they kind of gave me, like, ample time to do this. And now, like, light years out, and to Toy Story 2 is extra relevant, because... I mean, you play as Buzz in the game. So, close enough, I guess. Okay, come on, Sonic, can you do this? Okay, this part is a little annoying. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it came out, uh, last week. I thought, it, I thought it was pretty good, despite a couple issues I had with it, but yeah. Without spoiling, I thought it was pretty good. Not as groundbreaking as your usual Pixar movie, but it was a fun rock. Yeah. And my, uh, nephew enjoyed the movie a lot, too, so that's cool. Oh, another freaking gotta go fast mission. Yeah, I don't think- I don't know if it's on Disney Plus yet, but yeah, it'll def- it'll- It'll definitely come on there sooner or later for free. I feel like it's weird that, you know, this is the movie that they freaking put in theaters instead of, like, all their other movies, so... Because, like... I get, you know, wanting to have it on the streaming service because of, like, COVID and stuff, but, like, they absolutely should have had all those movies come out in theaters, too, because, like... I mean, Soul was a great movie, and, like, Turning Red was great, and, like... They have all these things only come out in streaming services instead of, like... You know, having the option. Like, they don't even do it later. That's kind of sad. It's like, you know... A lot of movies are, like... Really cool to see in theaters. Oh man, this one's hard. Oh, well, at least slightly hard. Oh, never mind, it was easy. Yeah, Soul was around, like, peak COVID, so, like, I kind of got that, but, like, I know certain movies got released, like, later in theaters. Like, I heard Scoob got released, 
even though that movie came out like a year ago after its theatrical release so like I mean for the initial like movies planned to release I kind of get it but like they should still put them in theaters eventually like that's the thing like they could have like a limited run or something like I don't care but like I want to see those movies Oh, guess I'm all done with that stuff, so I'll just do a couple museum things and I'll head out, but yeah. And yeah, I know, right? Disney absolutely shaves Pixar. It's pretty sad. Disney's like Nintendo for me. They have some banger stuff, but like, I don't care for them as a company. I just care about, you know, things they make, basically. I, I like all the history and stuff of, like, stuff like Nintendo and Disney and all that. It's interesting to me. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. My problem with the museum, there is no music. So, I'll just do what I did last time. And do this. Yeah, basically. There, now it's instantly better. I like all the stuff they included, but I find it weird how they don't have Sonic R or Sonic Blast or um, Tales of Adventure on here, but pretty good collection of stuff. Wow, I have 508 coins. Yeah, the museum is really cool. The only thing I felt like it could have done more with is, like, having more IDW comic covers, because, like, I get they wanted to only include stuff from classic Sonic games, but, like, I as a kid, I really freaking enjoyed looking at, like, every single Archie Comics cover that they had in Sonic Mega Collection. I would just, like, spend at least, like, 20 minutes or something just looking at everything. really cool. Uh, Tails looks kind of funny, but Sonic is Sonic. Honestly, it kind of looks like Mohawk Sonic, but also regular Sonic at the same time. It's like a com combination. Okay, that one, though, is that's definitely Mohawk Sonic. Also, you know, something I never noticed was that Tails and Knuckles have armband things on their gloves. Like, I noticed that on, like, a plush I used to have with Knuckles from, like, 2012, but, like... Oh, yeah, the freaking Sonic... Like, the American Sonic Writer's Bible thing. It's pretty interesting stuff. I don't know what's the deal with these European style guy things, but they're really weird and give me, like, Ken Penders vibes. I don't like how he looks. Why did Europe want Sonic to look like this? Did they look at Ken Penner's art and think, yeah, this is the best thing ever? <laughs> I don't know. The Knuckles, too, looks like that to me, kind of. Where, where is that Knuckles? Oh, bruh. Honestly, I've never seen Shiver Shell, even though it's probably a channel I'd like. So I, I definitely plan on checking it out eventually. I just haven't. But lately, I've been watching Scott the Waz, so that's cool. He's fun. That's good art. I like that one. Yeah, we got Sonic 3. The classic. Speaking of Sonic 3, I have a freaking... Yeah, I definitely know some things about him. I just haven't watched it. I think he makes, like, video, like, essay-style content, and it's like, you know, like, Sonic, of course, and there's, like, Sonic 2 bonus video memes, don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's pretty funny. Yep, 
I know about that, too, because there's a lot of memes about it. The way Eggman is drawn on these things is interesting, because it's like a mixture of the cartoon Robotnik's eyes, but just the regular design. Oh my god, why does that crab look so terrifying? Oh, there's the knuckles. This, this is freaking Ken Bender. I mean, it's not, but it looks like it. They also got all the art that was also featured in Sonic Gems collection, so that's cool. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the deal with the Sonic 2 bonus video memes are. I just know my friends mentioned that a lot. And I'm like, what the heck is Sonic 2 bonus video? And then he eventually did Sonic 3 bonus video. And I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> Okay, because they're like, okay, but where's the Sonic 2 bonus video? I could probably buy out this whole thing, honestly, right now. Sonic Spin Mall. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's just... You know what, this is weird. Why is a AOSTH Robotnik in here? But, like, then they have the Freedom Fighters in the game. And, like... I don't know, they have like a hodgepodge of different things. It's kind of like how the Archie comics. Those are just, the early Archie comics are just like the humor and like tone of, of, of Adventures of Sonic, kind of. Well, not really the humor, because that show's kind of weird, but like it's a little more lighthearted than Sadio, and like it's got the feel and some characters from Adventures of Sonic. Oh. He said he was doing that for Sonic 2 in the bonus video. He went missing, and many people kept commenting about the bonus. Oh my god. Okay, but where's the Sonic 2 bonus video? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Where's all the Sonic R artwork? That's pretty peak drawing of Sonic. I keep forgetting the controls on this. Wait, nine years? I thought it was like a couple, like... I thought it was like three years. What? How old is this guy? I thought he was like from like 2015 or something. Wow, that's so sad. Why? Why does your car have a face? Is this freaking Roger Rabbit or something? Why does it have a face? This 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 kind of creepy man. I like how they have freaking Wacky World Creativity Studio in here. It's pretty funny. Where's freaking Sonic? Um, Sonic Eraser and Sonic Schoolhouse. Yeah, I didn't know he was that old. Or a YouTuber. I just thought he was like at least from like 2015. So this guy disappeared for nine years, came back, and then left again. And people were memeing for nine years about a bonus video. Is, is that it? Like, it was that long? I didn't even know the extent of this. Oh, first video. Okay, I'm gonna play Sonic Gems music to mix it up.
I like this music a lot too. For, uh, Sonic is an anime character now. Running with bread in his mouth. Also, when I see this art, I just think of Sonic Gems collection anyway, so it works. I like that snake. Why does the quality kind of look like, uh, pixelated though. It's like a GIF file. Just chilling and looking up the museum. Let's go. That's almost 10 years. What the heck? He finally did the me the bonus video, the madman. Okay, I'm gonna stop after this one. Way cool. I like how it looks kind of like 3D. Oh yeah, I forgot the- oh, bruh. He's leaving Tails out in the cold tonight. How could he do this? Pretty good selection. Why can I buy the outro? I didn't even unlock the regular one yet. Also, I like that all the mini adventures are in here, because now you can watch them in 4K, which, you know, you wouldn't be able to do on YouTube. You basically have the raw video. that's about it uh, for this stream but um, thank you so much everyone for checking out the stream it's great having you here Mike Buff and um, yeah everyone have yourselves a good one and take care oh wow it's super funny oh wow that's insane yeah I know he came back again in 2020 I know about that hiatus, but I didn't know about the nine-year one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Everyone, uh, have a good day. I'll definitely play Sonic 2 very soon. Probably, like, either tomorrow, like, at least part of it tomorrow, or the day after that. But, um, yeah. Keep posted. And, uh, take care. Okay.